Okay, now let's make the materials for the chains and for the hangers. So, uh, press P to get into perspective view and uh, Alt W to expand the viewport. And uh, we're going to focus on these two. Uh, material editor, uh, make a new, select a new slot and I drop it on the hanger. And we're going to use the same material for the chain. So select the entire group of ch the chain group and uh, apply. So uh, we're going to I'm going to make it uh, reflect the room. So in the re reflection uh, uh, slot, I will uh, add a ray trace. And uh, in the uh, basic material extensions, I'm going to tint it. Uh, kind of gray and then uh, to the in the color here I will make it black so and if I test render this it will uh, look like uh, since it is very dark in here right now so yeah we're going to select the other the two uh, materials here and increase the self illumination color self illumination illumination to 100 and if we press uh, render again we can see that uh, it's a pretty nice reflection on uh, uh, these two maybe they well i think those are good so we're going to do the same with these we're going to add the same material so select the material and the assign material selection if we look here we can see how much uh, uh, how the material will reflect so if we lower the uh, no not that one uh, the amount of the tint we can see that more and more of the color is coming back so if, so if we test render this again yeah this uh, is looking much better uh, not so dark okay and uh, the next step is to yeah the next step is to add uh, in the text on the floor no it's not it is to make the floor reflecting so uh, select the geometry for uh, the background uh, the room walls and stuff and go press edit poly and uh, polygon and uh, select all of this uh, no uh, select every polygon by control a and go down to um, set id and set uh, one press enter then only select the floor set id to enter and then uh, press here to go to the top level and go back to the material editor uh, press uh, multi sub object discard old material and the number one slot is going to be the background uh, for the uh, now we're going to make it an instance and going to the floor uh, this is uh, the polygon with number one is the walls and the roof uh, the ceiling and uh, the ID number two is uh, the floor. So in the floor, we're going to go down to maps, uh, reflection, ray trace, and uh, add this uh, map to bump map and uh, lower the reflection to maybe 15. So now if uh, we test render this. We see that uh, no, we have to apply the material first, of course, to the geometry. Now, test render again. Here we can uh, start seeing the reflections in the floor, and uh, yeah, it's looking pretty good. So I think uh, the reflections are enough, and now let's add in the text.
So go uh, close the material editor, uh, go down to create panel, uh, splines, and uh, press text and zoom out a bit and make it uh, maybe uh, Sweeman, Sweeman, uh, or something that you like. And uh, go down to the modifier and press. Uh, Add the bevel modifier and uh, uh, make the height uh, one and the outline uh, maybe uh, point six. Then make the second level four point five and the third level, and uh, that is uh, one high and minus 7.6. Here we have uh, the very basic text. And then uh, press E for rotation and rotate it 90 degrees. And uh, scale it down. And move it into the room here. And uh, then maybe press C to see through the camera and uh, rotate the text like that. 